17 a couple oh, days yeah. in January. January was up and down. Now, there is a silver lining, though, to all of this snow. Yes, and 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley has been buzzing around town, gathering up the details. It's good to have a, a good cold winter because you get rid of a lot of problems. Insects are a constant worry for farmers like Brad Drought in Hamburg. It only takes a couple of days to, to really devastate a crop. Especially when you have greenhouses filled with tens of thousands of young spring plants. But this year there has been a pleasant surprise. So far this winter we have not had any insect problems to speak of. And thanks to a long winter that allowed the ground to freeze outside, problem bugs that attack local crops might also be down. Some always make it through, but your populations are decreased greatly. This past winter, the cold stretched far into the southern states, and that too looks like it could keep away troublesome insects. The colder it gets further down south, the better off we are, it takes them longer to make their way back up here. But what about ticks and yellow jacket wasps that affect people? Thanks to warm winters previously, their numbers were up in 2017 and causing concerns for people going outdoors. Kind of aggressive. They're getting in the posts of the pool. They're just everywhere. I run from them, yes. <laughs> Ehrlich Pest Control in Cheektowaga said this winter might help with those problems as well. With the warm up, cool down, warm up, cool down, yeah, it's going to take out a lot of the pest population. Unfortunately, nuisance bugs like sand flies will not be affected. They're deep down in the muck in the bottom of Lake Erie and in the bottom of the Niagara River. But there are some insect populations that need to grow, like pollinators such as honeybees. And local beekeepers are hoping hives made it through the winter without too much stress. Now, the big variable in all of this is March. If things continue to stay really, really cold, it will help keep down the bug population. But if things warm up too quickly, just the opposite could happen. In Hamburg, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News. If you had something to watch for for gardeners and, of course, fans of the great outdoors in the yeah. coming weeks. So it's going to somewhat look or feel like spring next week, maybe? Yeah, big time. Okay. And what he just said at the very end was you don't want it to warm up too quickly right. because then they all show up again. Unfortunately, we've got a big oh, thaw no. coming okay. our way. But not right now. Let's look out.